Here you go, Mr. Bongi. for human rights in Iran and cycling for human rights in Iran. خیلی ممنون سلام علیکم فور برای اینکه اومدین امروز وقتتون رو گذاشتین و از برنامه روز حمایت از حقوق بشر در ایران و برای برنامه دو چرخ سواری برای دفاع از حقوق بشر ما رو حمایت کردیم. So I repeat again. Salam alaikum everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out in support of the day of action for human rights in Iran and cycling for human rights in Iran. As you all know, it's been very difficult for us to remain silent in the wake of all the violation of human rights that are occurring in the country. Uh, CHRI is our way of expressing our concern about what has happened in Iran since July 12th election. We believe that it is everybody's responsibility to protest human rights violations, and that's why I'm involved. And hopefully we will be at the embassy of Iranian, uh, uh, Iran embassy uh, on Monday at 2 to deliver the Amnesty International petition uh, um, to the embassy, through the, uh, to the Iranian government through the embassy. The three main points of the petition are, first, immediate and un unconditional release of all the political leaders and activists who were arrested on June 15th and anybody else who is arrested for their uh, exercise of freedom of expression and assembly. The second point is uh, allowing immediate access to family members, lawyers of choice, and medical care for the prisoners, and also uh, prevention of any, any form of torture and ill treatment for all of them. And the third point is to allow peaceful demonstrations by those wishing to express their opinions of the election, even if that opinion is critical. And I just want to say that the main point is not only for the people who are known that and the other like uh, big people like like Mr. Hajarian, it's for uh, fellow students like me, like my colleagues that they're in Iran and they're in the prison, and we don't hear from us any like anyone don't talk about them. Thanks. I want to thank all of our volunteers, our supporters, our donors, friends, and all those who made this trip happen. I want to especially thank to all the people in Toronto who generously supported us and kept us motivated. And I want to also thank the people in Ottawa who put together a committee who, are, who will be receiving us on Sunday evening. So as all of you might know, today uh, marks uh, the global test who are delivering the Amnesty International petition to Ottawa. We're also going to have two other actions. Uh, following this uh, send-off, there's going to be a rally in March uh, that is in conjunction with the International Day of uh, Global Day of Action in solidarity with Iran. At the end of that rally in March, we're going to ask everybody who's participating in the, uh, in the rally to sit down as a show of solidarity and we'll begin a 24-hour hunger strike. The, the hunger strike is a continuation of the hunger strike that started in New York from July 22nd to July 24th. That initiative uh, was intended to draw attention to the human rights violations in Iran, as well as to, uh, calling attention to the plight of political prisoners and prisoners of, uh, of conscience that are languishing in Iranian jails right now. Uh, as many of you know, there's over 2,000 prisoners right now uh, in Iran who have been detained and arrested uh, at, because of their participation in the peaceful demonstrations in opposition uh, to the results of the fraudulent election. So we hope that you can join us for the entire duration of the day. We need to send a loud and clear message throughout the world that the world is watching 
that human rights uh, and the rights of all Iranians to express themselves democratically uh, is important to all of us. Uh, and we need to know that as we gather here in Toronto, people are gathering in cities in New York, uh, in Milan, in Rome, uh, in Stockholm, in Hamburg, all over the world, uh, in rallies, in hunger strikes, uh, in various creative actions uh, to be with us. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.